Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. In this video, I will explain on how to solve quadratic equations by using factorization method. So in here, we have two examples, E and B, and we must solve these equations by using factorization method. Okay, so before we uh, factorize a quadratic expression, make sure in solving quadratic equation, the first step, you must ensure that uh, your equation is in the form of uh, general form of quadratic equation. So general form of quadratic equation is, is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So before you factorize uh, the equation to solve or to find the value of x, you must make sure that your equation must be in this form. Everything must equal to zero. So as for example A and B, this equation already is in general form of quadratic equation. So now we can proceed with the, with the next step. Okay, so first example A, given x squared plus 9x plus 14 equals to zero. So to use factorization method to find the x values, we must factorize this expression. Okay, so how to factorize x squared plus 9x plus 14? So you can use a calculator. The easiest way is to use calculator. Or you can also factorize this manually, meaning you find the factor of this expression by using a calculation. Um, but in this video, I will only explain um, how to factorize this by using calculator. Because using calculator is the easiest way to factorize a quadratic expression. So uh, to use calculator to factorize, make sure the a value, a is uh, the coefficient of x square. Please make sure that your a value must be positive. If let's say your a is not positive, so you must make it positive. Um, by multiplying the whole equation with negative 1. So for now, as for example A, the A value, the coefficient of x squared is positive. Positive 1. So now we can straight away use a calculator to factorize this expression. Okay, so before you use your calculator, um, please determine the value of A, B and C. So, A is the coefficient of x squared. So, the coefficient of x squared for this is 1. And B is the coefficient of x. So, this is the coefficient of x, positive 9. And C is the constant, constant term. So, our constant term in this is positive 14. Okay, next step is to substitute these three values into your calculator. Okay, I am using a uh, Casio 5X570MS calculator. So, first step is to turn on your calculator, of course. And then, um, you press mode three times until you see the word EQN. Okay, so EQN... Or uh, you must press the number 1. Okay. And then you must find the word degree. So for degree now, uh, this equation is in degree 2 because x square. So you must press the number 2. Okay, now in your calculator, the, the calculator asks you for a value. So, you must insert the value of a, which is 1. So, 1. And then, you press the equal sign. And now, the calculator asks you for b value. So, you must insert the b value. b value is 9. So, 9. And then, you press the equal sign. And next, uh, you must insert the C value. So, C value is 40. So, you must insert the number 40 and then press equal sign. 
Okay, so in your calculator, you have x1 equals to negative 2. So this is the first answer for x. And then you press again the, neg uh, the equal sign and calculator will give you x2 value which is negative 7. Alright, so this is actually the solution of this quadratic equation. So now how to write your calculation in a systematic way. Okay, so your calculation from here. Alright. Okay, so now we need to uh, um, factorize this x squared plus 9x plus 14. So we have two brackets because now it is x power of 2. So you put two brackets here and then equals to 0 because this equation equals to 0. Okay, and uh, our expression is in terms of x. So please write x for both brackets. Okay, so for the first bracket here, please refer to the first answer in your calculator, which is x1 equals to negative 2. Because our answer is negative 2, so in this bracket, you must reverse the sign. So plus 2. Okay, as for the second bracket, you must refer to the second answer in your calculator, negative 7. So inside this bracket, you must reverse the sign. So plus 7. Okay. Now the next step is to solve this equation. Because we already factorized x squared plus 9x plus 14. Okay, you can check this by uh, expanding these two brackets. After you expand these two brackets, you will get x squared plus 9x plus 14. Okay, so next step is to solve this equation because we have two brackets. So the first bracket, x plus 2, is equals to 0. So equals to 0. And the second bracket, x plus 7, also equals to 0. Now you can solve this linear equation. So for the first equation here, so our x is negative 2. So this is the first solution of this quadratic equation. And for the second um, answer, x is equal to negative 7. So this is the second solution. Okay, let's see the second example. Okay, given 2x square minus 11x minus 21 equals to 0. So you must solve this by using factorization method. Okay, so first step to factorize this by using your calculator. Make sure the a um, value must be positive and make sure that your equation must be in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero so everything must be equals to zero okay so since our a is already positive and our equation is already in general form of quadratic equation now we can proceed with the factorization process Okay, so we can factorize this by using our calculator. So first, uh, we must identify the value of a, b and c. So a value is 2, a is the coefficient of x square, b is negative 11, this is a, this is b, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant term. So for this one, the constant is negative 21. So in our calculator, we can substitute these three values. A is 2, equal, B is negative 11, equal sign, and then C is negative 21. So in your calculator, um, X1 is positive 7 and X2 is negative 1.5. So if you get 
a decimal number in your calculator, please change this into fraction form. So negative 1.5 is actually uh, equivalent to negative 3 over 2. Okay, now we can proceed with the factorization. So as usual, we have two brackets because x squared, x times x is x squared. So we must have two brackets equals to 0 because this equation is equals to 0. And next step is to write down the term x for both brackets because now our equation is in terms of x. So for the first answer in your calculator, it is positive 7. So in your first bracket, we must reverse this sign. So negative 7. Right? So as for the second bracket, uh, you must refer to the second answer, negative 3 over 2. Because our answer now is in fraction, so we must uh, adjust um, the value inside this bracket. So as I said before, uh, the sign you must reverse. So for now, the answer in your calculator is negative. So inside the, this bracket, it must be positive because we must reverse the sign. And this 3, so you must plus with 3. So this denominator value 2, you must put this value in front of x. So 2x. So make sure if you in your calculator you have a fraction answer, the denominator you must put this value in front of x. Okay. So now we have done with the factorization process. Okay, the next step is to solve this equation. So for the first bracket, x minus 7 equals to 0. The second bracket, 2x plus 3 equals to 0. So the first answer for x is positive 7. Okay, now you must solve the second equation. So 2x is negative 3. Therefore, x is negative 3 over 2. So these are the solutions of this quadratic equation. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can write your comments below. Thank you.